Welcome back to Living 757, and look, we are back once again with our good friend, Hugo Valverde of Valverde Law. Uh, it's going to give us some more immigration tips. It's yes. always a fun time, and we learn a lot of stuff, man. Welcome back. Thank you. Great to be here. All right. Welcome, Great to be here. Welcome. Thank you so much Thank for being with us today. Yeah, yeah. And we are going to talk about a topic that is really, really, uh, sometimes we don't understand what's going on with the process. Mm. Let's say I am married with a citizen, right, yeah. with a United States citizen, American. And I have the conditional green card, right? Because that's the first part of the process. And then after two years, I follow for divorce. So what happened? Is that gonna affect me? So what should I do? Can you make sure that you let the husband know that you want a divorce? <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. You just can't. Well, he never is going to find out about that. Oh, oh. It's just, I need to talk to the lawyer first, and then he will know. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. And Quincy Park doesn't even know what a conditional green card is. Like, right. I know. I no he was like, what is a conditional green card? Because you don't have to go through that. Yeah. Well, what is a conditional yeah, green so card? So a conditional green card is a green card that someone gets after they marry a U.S. citizen okay. and the marriage is less than two years old. The government will grant the person a conditional green card. It's only valid for two years. And that's why they call it conditional. Mm -hmm. uh, and so before that card expires, and you can file it uh, up to 90 days before the card expires, you have to mm -hmm. file another application uh, to remove the conditions. Right? Now, when you got your green card based on marriage, you had to show evidence you know, that your marriage was in, entered into in and good it's faith. Real. <laughs> it's real. You know, you, you guys love each other and, and you're living together and all that. Well, when you're filing the the condition, the petition to remove the conditions, mm -hmm. you had to get the full on green card. You had to provide more of that evidence, right? That, that you guys are still living together, that you guys are happily married, you guys are a couple, you know, all that. Well. You know, if we look at statistics. Hold up, tell yeah. me, tell me. <laughs> ha happily married, because there's a huge well, divorce rate that's going on. This guy. Quincy, like, what happens sometimes is after two years, it doesn't work. And right. you have to prove that if it worked or not. So if you're not happily married, uh -huh. what happens? <laughs> right, so that, and that's a very common occurrence, right? I mean, uh, like, I think it's like over 50% of the marriages you know, end up in divorce, right? Yeah. Or, yes. And so, so it's a very common occurrence. Now. Fortunately, uh, our immigration laws will allow an accommodation or recog it recognizes that fact okay. so that the person can still file to remove the conditions even though they're no longer with their spouse. Uh, now, they do have to provide still evidence that they entered into the marriage you know, in good faith. You know, they had a, a relationship, a valid marital relationship. Right. Um, but they can still proceed. Now, the tricky thing is, mm -hmm. um, guys, is that the law says that it allows for that accommodation only if they are divorced. So they actually have a divorce decree. So you uh, have to follow the divorce first and then remove the condition? Well, I, so, you know, life doesn't always work out that way because divorces, <laughs> divorces can, you know, last a while. Some yeah. of the divorces can really go on for a long time. Now, uh, what the immigration service has done is kind of an accommodation of this Fortunately, and it wasn't always like this. Cause I remember the days when it wasn't that they were less forgiving. But what they do is they allow mm -hmm. the person time, okay. some time. They, they can indicate on the application that they are divorced, but they may not be yet, you know. But the government will give them some time to get that divorce decree. But they have to have that divorce decree in order to get the conditions removed and get the full-on green card. Um, <laughs> so it's a, it's a little it's a little complicated. Yeah. You know, yes. The timing and everything. That's why. Yeah, somebody really should go see an attorney. You know, yes. a qualified they should come see attorney. you. <laughs> they, well, me or someone else. Yeah, they should come just, see you. Just a qualified immigration attorney to kind of walk them through that. And it's a very common occurrence. Um, main thing I want to let people know, if this does happen to them, is don't worry. Um, you know, just make a, an appointment to see an immigration attorney. And, you know, we, me or someone else can guide you through can that help. process. Yeah, yes. that's very interesting. And also, it's, uh, I know our viewers have a lot of questions, especially the our Latin community that just remind them that I also, you know, we have his office in Spanish. We are doing this in English right now because right. the show uh, required. But uh, uh, also, you can check it out, his website, Facebook, uh, Instagram, that you're doing pretty good with the social network, too. And, uh, and they can answer all the questions, right, Hugo? Of course, yeah. Any um, immigration question you might have, of course, you can contact us. We'd be more than happy to uh, to answer those questions. Uh, and with the conditional residency, a lot going back yeah. to that. I mean, a lot of people, all, the the fear that people express to me, okay, with good reason, is that okay. So what happens now? I'm not with my spouse, you know, and I file this application. Can I still work? You know, while this yes. application is pending, can I still travel while this application is pending? And the good news is yes. 
Uh, once the application is filed, the, the government will automatically extend the permanent residence. Right now, it's another the two years. And during that two-year period, the person can still travel. They can go home and see their, wow. their family. They can work, you know, do everything like they were doing before, no problem, while that application is being decided. Wow, right, that's so a lot about, of info. Right, yeah. yeah, it's all about laying down the foundation of everything <laughs> first. And keep in mind, in Virginia, before you get divorced, you have to be separated <clears throat> for a year, so... Yeah, if, yeah. You have, if you have kids. If you have yes. kids. Right. Okay, well, thank you so much, Ugo. We see you next thank you. month. Thank you, thank you, thank you so thank you much. Guys.